Hello everybody, this is Chantel from Creations with Heart, and you may hear a little one, Desiree or Desi, chime in every now and then. She always thinks when I'm making my videos that I'm talking to her, so she decides she needs to be part of the conversation. I am bringing you a February design team package. I'm using Mente's Love Letters because Mente has a new collection with very similar colors called City of Love, but it did not arrive in time to make a Valentine's package. So I'm using this one, but I'm going to put links to the new one, City of Love, that we'll, we will hopefully be able to use just as well. Quite excited about this one. This one is based on a slimline folio designed by Paul Ford. I'll put a link in the video to his construction video. I made a few twists, but the majority of the basic construction comes directly from his video. And if you're not in his Facebook group, get in there and you'll always you'll be able to pull things like lately he's doing written written cut guides to help you out. This one measures five and a half wide by eight tall, which means if you have eight by eight papers, you should be able to do with one pack of eight by eight quite easily. Or if you have eight and a half, half by 11 cardstock for the core, the base, that will also work. Now what is so interesting that I am so excited about with this is I'm loving this little bow. The bow actually comes from Blue Fern. This was with their Christmas collection and I picked it up. And it looks as if Sorry about that. Somebody decided to sing a little gospel. I love gospel too, so no problem. Just didn't know if everybody else did, so I paused it for a moment. It looks as if you have to untie the bow to open the folio, but you don't. So first we're going to go and deal with the inside. Well, first let's do the outside and then the inside. Now we're going to come back and I'm going to show you the little surprise that's under here. Mente always has chipboard pieces and that's what this is from. And this is a Prima butterfly and some flowers that go very well with the collection and some heartfelt pearl stamens. And this is a piece, you hold my heart in your hands, part of their chipboard pieces. On the back, there's a chipboard piece and I used mainly their 12 by 12. Their collections come in 6 by 6, 12 by 12 and you get six double-sided pages, two of each. And here are the designs going across the front. As I mentioned before, don't ever throw away this front because this whole section right here is still usable. And behind here, let's just, I'll show you just in case those who have never looked at Mente before. On the 12 by 12, there will be a pack of ephemera that you can cut in your brother's scan and cut if you have one. If you're having some difficulty, just draw a line, a pencil line around the edges so that the scanner can pick up that outside edge and that should take care of it. And you'll find these in all of Mente's 12 by 12s. And they're six by six of the same pattern. Everything will be identical, except there will not be ephemera pieces. There will be four frame pieces. And they will also, include, which actually I think this is very similar to, there's another piece in there, they're cards, cut apart cards. They are very small in the 6x6, but they're the same cards. And they stick with the same platform no matter what. They also will have, you can get the ephemera already cut if you don't want a fussy cut, and then they have chipboard stickers, which you can see I've use this quite well and I'm trying to get one more project out of this. So when we go to the inside, this little clasp here is a Cool Cats closure die. I really love Cool Cats. If you have not checked them out, check them out. They have some of the best dies. I wasn't able to use as many as I usually do, but I really do enjoy them. 
And here's space for pictures here and here. And a little journaling down here. Then that closes. You open it up here. And I put, using Heartfelt Creations pocket dies on this page, a slit in there. And just created a card. A journaling card. And I didn't put anything on this because I didn't want it to be too thick to slide in there. And then in here, I just created a heart, a pocket, a heartfelt die. And in this case, I don't know if it'll pick it up or not. I put acetate behind there because with these very delicate dies, sometimes you'll go to put things in the pocket and they'll get hung on paper. So if you glue it down to the acetate, you don't have to worry about anything tearing or getting caught. So that's my little trick. Then this opens out again on this side, and there's another one of these. A space for photos. This is where I use those little tiny 6x6 six six cards. Opens out again with another acetate pocket. Here, the word love letters is on the bottom. I just cut one of those little strips. Here, let's just pull a piece of paper. I always love to save the piece on the bottom as I'm cutting. I save them and use them. So I cut here, in here, and then this piece I try to use throughout the item that I'm making. Pop it open one more time. And here I really had to rack my brain a little bit here. I wanted the person to be able to put a photo in there, but I had to tack it down, otherwise this would come off. But if I tack it too much, they can't get a slide of photo in there. So what I did was, as you see, this comes off. It's backed with black. It's one of the ephemera cutouts. And underneath here is a small magnet. Then they can slide a photo in here. They'll have to cut it down to size. And then to keep this down, the magnet will hold it in place. Now, hopefully the person won't lose the magnet. You never know. But that's the only thing I could think of. And then that would keep it from folding on you. And then here's another pocket here. Using heartfelt dies. I use a lot of heartfelt dies in this collection. And so that folds back this way, this way, this way, and this way. Now, also on this side is a pocket and a mat slides out. A cute little mat and you can either put pictures or you can journal. And you could put two in here. I didn't want to bulk it out too much so I put one in here but I made four so the extra, no I made three. The extra one which I'm going to show you this second pocket. There's a second pocket right here. There's one here behind here and one behind here. I'll show you that one in a minute. This is a waterfall. And this is using some of those cut apart cards with a magnet closure. And you can fit your standard 4x6 photos in here. And this one has been left open on both sides for the person to slide. Let me pull that down. So a person can slide a photo on both sides. I only glued it at the top. And then it works like a regular waterfall from that point. And I didn't put anything on the tops because I didn't want to bulk it out because the person's also going to need to put pictures in there. So then when you close the waterfall, if you open here, it's a lot of room packed in this little folio. Paul did really well. And I didn't do a lot of embellishing here because I just didn't want to bulk it out. You can quite easily add an eighth of an inch here and then add an eighth of an inch here and then you can put more in here but I decided that it had enough because over here on this side is also a journaling card. And this is where the spare one is. 
Probably should put a tab on this spare one. We'll see because I don't want it to stick out. And so there's a third one, and I may make a fourth. It all depends. I'm running low on this pink paper, and I need one more project. You see there's something hidden in there, which is what we're going to look at next. That's what I'm excited about. So when you close it, this is the back. And you see, there's a card. Oh, it looks like a card there. All right. So there's this little heart charm on both sides on the ribbon. Just to give a little dangle. You know me, I like my sparkle in the spine. So let's open this up. And this is one of the ephemera pieces, the chipboard pieces, love letters with some sparkle. Pull this up and a magnet is keeping it in the right place. You pull this up and slide it out. There's your folio. This is extra storage on the outside so that I didn't bulk up the inside. And I did it on the front and the back. So that's why you see only one time. Because you slide it here. Let the magnet catch it. Turn it over. And there's the other one. In this moment, which we've already looked at that. And then it slides back in. And I just thought it was a way to add storage to the outside. And you hear the magnets. It was quite strong. But even if you don't want to tie this or do this right now, you can still go in and out of the folio without having to worry about tying. I love ribbons and things, but sometimes I get a little aggravating having to tie and untie, tie and untie. So, this is my project for, one of my projects for February 2022. City of Love is the new Mente that is out. And it has just reached the stores. So, go check it out. I will put links to City of Love, and the color scheme is quite similar to what you see here. I hope you enjoyed my project.